Yes, good afternoon, welcome back to the channel. Before we get into the news, make sure you do two things. Go down, smash a like on the video. It's free to do and massively helps me out. And if you're new to the channel, make sure you have subscribed. Now, I don't know if this, I don't know if this I'm going to caveat and say I don't know if this is legit breaking news. But there's been an image shared of Human Son with a heavily strapped up right knee uh, bandaged up uh, while he's on international duty with South Korea. I'm going to share the image now. There you go. That's the tweet. That's the image. You can see some an FPL account has tweeted out a picture of Human Son and his right knee is heavily strapped up. More and more FPL accounts and ITKs are saying Son is set to miss South Korea's game tonight away at Saudi Arabia and he could be out for the Sheffield United game or maybe even the Arsenal game. Like I said, I don't know if this is legitimate breaking news. Um, I'm going to be honest. Ali Gold hasn't come out and said anything as of right now, but if this is legit breaking news and Son is injured, who is going to step up now? The guy's just bagged a hat trick against Burnley you know, um, and he's off the mark the season, three goals and have a couple of assists. And now is essentially our main man. He's now going to play for the middle and be the guy to contribute 10, 15, maybe 17 goals in all comps for Postacoglu. If he is injured, and that means Richarlison or even Brennan Johnson goes up front for the next few games, I don't know how long this is. I don't even know if he's injured. This could be breaking news. This could be complete and utter BS. If this is legitimate news on face value and he is out for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven weeks, I don't know how long he could be out for. Uh, if he is out, we could be in big, big trouble. Big, big trouble. Richarlison, at the moment, this guy can't score in a brothel. He can, you know... He is absolutely atrocious right now. He is atrocious. Can't, you know, can't hit a barn door. He's, he's crying on the bench for Brazil. He's, he's playing, albeit awful right now. Let's not beat around the bush. He is. Um, I'll be honest. I, I, if he is going to be the guy to go up front against Sheffield United, Arsenal, Liverpool... I, I, I think we're in big, big trouble. I'm not going to lie. Son's been fairly good the last couple of games. And I think now um, has kind of got his confidence back. And now I think we'll deliver under Postacoglu going forward. Um, but if Human Son is injured right now, genuinely, I, I worry for us. I really do. Um, let me know your thoughts down below if you haven't already. But for me... You know, this this could be this could be massive for us. All jokes aside, and I and I've been very critical on Human Son in the past, but right now we need him desperately. And in his last game, he got a Premier League hat trick. Um, I, I, like I said, I don't know if this is legitimate news. I just wanted to speak about it to say that if he is, if he is, if this is breaking news, and we are in big, big, big trouble. I wanted to speak about some of Postacoglu's comments he's made. And he made a comment on Basuma. Um, I wanted to get your thoughts on this, guys. And he said, uh, I grabbed him and said, the way you've trained the last three or four sessions, you can be a leader in this group. I could uh, see he got a lift from that. And then um, late the next morning, um, I said, being a leader means go on, uh, being on time. Um, and since he's been good since then, Bissouma, for me, is one of our most important players. He's probably second or third most important player. He is an absolute, you know, he is a just a different player, man. He is unbelievable. I, I watched, he's got, watched what he's assist the other night um, in for Mali, I think it was. His little fake drag back, played it back across the box. He's footwork in the box. He's, he's press resistant. He's passing range. He's dribbling. He's, you know, he's just an absolute player. He really is. I just panic um like panic he stays fit um fpl harry is one of the big fpl accounts he said people panicking about that photo of son 
with ice on his knee. You do realise he plays with strapping on his knee and hasn't and and hasn't stopped him. People didn't care when he scored a hat trick with it. They play tonight anyway. Yeah, this is what I'm saying. I don't know if it's legitimate news. I don't know if it's not legitimate news. But in in both the images he shared, as you can see right here on the on the left hand side, the left hand picture, he plays with a strap on his knee there, and he plays with a strap on his knee um, in the Tottenham shirt. So. I, listen, I, if this is breaking news and this is legit, then I think we are, we could be in, 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 in big, big trouble. If it's not, if it's nothing to worry about, then fantastic. I just wanted to talk about if Sonny is injured, who do you think from, from an output, from a goal perspective, is going to step up and lead the line? Because I don't think it's going to be Richarlison anywhere, any anytime soon. Brennan Johnson's an interesting one. Is it Can he play for the middle? Can he contribute? Can he score goals? Um, you know, I, I, I've got very mixed feelings on it. 45, 47 million pounds on a player that I, I'm a big fan of. If it's not broken, don't fix it. And if Son is fit, in my opinion, Brendan Johnson should not be starting um, against Sheffield United. The front three, we should play exactly the same lot. Excuse me. Exactly the same lineup we played um against um against Burnley and the lineup we played against Burnley I'm going to put on the screen I would play this exact lineup that we you're going to see right here I'd play Vicario, Yodoji, Van de Ven, Romero, Poro, good back four, Bissouma and Saar, Solomon on the left, Kulu on the right who scored and got an assist the other night for Sweden, Madison in the 10 and Son up front. If it's not broken don't fix it. There is no need right there is no need to to change anything. There's not. If Son is not injured, then I think we're all good. I'll be honest. I think we're all good. Um, but you know, at, at this moment in time, I I I I don't know. Um, I don't know if he's injured or not. I wanted to quickly before we finish. I wanted to wrap up on on Postecoglou's. He's made some more comments um, coming out. In the last um, in the last hour, he did an interview on Talksport earlier. I did speak about the interview while I was live with Sava, so I wanted to just get some of your guys' thoughts and opinions. Um, I think it was Tottenham Tears that put it out. Yeah, it was Tottenham Tears. Tottenham Tears. Um, and this is what Ange Postecoglou said because I want to get everyone's thoughts on this as well. Um, if I don't succeed, it would not be because of the internal or external factors. It's all on me from now on. On the responsibility is down to me. Whatever challenges exist within the football club, I've accepted to take that on. I agree you've accepted to take that on, but external factors can play a big key factor because an external factor would be not being backed in the transfer market and we only brought in one centre-back. So while I agree that it's, it's very brave him to say it's all my responsibility, at the same time, you haven't been backed in the transfer market in terms of what we actually need. In terms of the money we've spent, we spent a lot of money, you know, we've spent, um, we've spent, you know, 170 odd million pounds, but external, internal or external factors definitely play a part for that. I agree. Like if we get, if, if we don't go and buy anyone in January, then we're asking him a lot to get top four with this current set of players. I mean, what, what do you guys make of it? Like, is, is this just PR? Is this, you know, possibly just saying this? Let me know down below if you haven't already. Um, let me know on Tumin Son. Do you think he's injured or do you just think this is, you know, nothing to worry about? I just thought it was worth the discussion, even if he is not injured, who will step up in Son's absence if if the inevitable does come and he does get an in injury? Um, I will be, I will be, you know, very, very, very concerned at this moment in time if Tumin Son does have an injury but then again he could play tonight he could you know Saudi Arabia he could he could line up tonight and score I don't know but as of right now as of like 12 half past 12 in the UK genuinely if he's injured that is a big 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 concern for us a big big concern all jokes aside that is a massive 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 concern for us uh, if he is injured let me know if you haven't already Sheffield United on Saturday uh, winnable games coming up. We've got that. Then we've got Arsenal, Liverpool, which are a bit, you know, could go either way. And then after that, we've got Luton, Fulham and Palace. So we need Son to be here. We need him to be fit and firing. 
Um, if he is injured, genuinely, the thought of Richarlison... Oh, the thought of Richarlison lining up against Arsenal. Yeah, I, I don't want to see that. Let me know your thoughts on the video if you haven't already. Um, thank you all for watching, people. See you all soon. We are out.